Hello, Shalom. Did you know that October 2nd and 3rd is Rosh Hashanah? It is a Jewish New Year, the beginning of the, the head of the New Year, and it will usher in the 10 days of awe. The 10 days of awe lead up to Yom Kippur, which takes place on October 11th, the Day of Atonement. Now, if you're a Jewish person, this is a very high holy day, and it is considered the days of awe, as I mentioned, the first 10 days leading up to Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. For those who have recognized the Messiah, Jewish people who have recognized the Messiah, as well as Messianic people uh, that have been grafted into the olive tree, we will all be regarding this day as a very special day, a day to really give thanks because the atonement has been done by our high priest, Yahushua HaMashiach. I will give you some scriptures you can look at beneath and you can check them yourself. Shalom. Before I go ahead and do that, I would also like to add an important question that's in my mind and maybe in everybody's mind. Will this Rosh Hashanah, the Jubilee, to begin the Jubilee of all Jubilees, the 70th week of Daniel, will it usher in a whole new time in history like no other? Will many crazy and apoplectic ap events happen? And what will happen October 11th on Yom Kippur? We have blood moons as signs in the sky, and we know that this is a time like no other in history. I'll be looking for something very, very historical, a major event to happen in between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the 10 days of awe. And I will be fasting on Yom Kippur and praying and enjoying Messiah in his atonement for us as the high priest. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a blessed evening. And just when you thought I was gone, I have something else to add. I know that my videos are not that entertaining, but I didn't really make these videos to entertain anyone. I'm making the videos so that I can remind people of who our God is and how seriously he needs to be taken, especially with all the prophetic events unfolding. Now when I say will something special happen during this time, it is for you to be watching and praying as our Messiah has told us to do. He said when you see these things happen, you'll know that the time is near. So what kind of people should we be right now? Should we be just eating and drinking and dancing and making merry like the world does? Or should we be watching and praying? Praying a lot. And now I'm going to talk about something next video. It's called Church Unity. Some people are so busy going to church that they don't see the signs. And they are not really practicing much love or faith. They think that by going to church every week and doing this or that and being the, you know, the pillar of the church and being recognized in the community, that makes them a Christian. But they are not being very proactive in stopping events in our land, in our government. They are not working in unison with other believers like uh, people of the ACLJ. And, um, uh, uh, it's Christian Law and Justice. Uh, Jay Sekulow heads that up, and he defends Christians who are being persecuted. There are a lot of things you can get involved in, and a lot of things you can do as a believer outside of going to church. Be the church. That's what my next video is going to be on. Have a blessed day.